Hello everybody, welcome to day one of Readorama. This is my Readorama vlog. I'm going to be vlogging all week. This is a seven day readathon and thankfully I have four of the days off from work. So I'm hoping to get a lot accomplished this week. It is almost 10 o'clock so the readathon has been going for about 10 or 11 hours now my time. Today is actually a little bit of a busy day um, but I am planning to get still get reading done. I have already jumped into reading and am listening to an audiobook so I can do other things while listening to that audiobook. Let me actually go grab the book. So I'm starting with Actor Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is going for a character with a disability. Um, the main male character has autism and then this is also going for a book in your favorite genre. My favorite genre is adult romance or rom-coms. Um, so that is in that genre. And then also for a book by a black indigenous or person of color, Th Talia Hibbert is a black British author. So this is knocking out three challenges. Um, we are doing a bingo board this year in case you guys didn't know. And honestly, this is probably one of the most event heavy readathons that we've done ever for Readorama. For Readorama this year, for the first time ever, we're doing a full live show sprint schedule, I guess. We're not doing Twitter sprints because we've noticed in the past not many people participate in Twitter sprints, but right now the whole big thing is live shows for reading, so live read-ins. Um, so we're actually doing a bunch of read-ins this week. Today we're actually doing our kickoff event on my YouTube channel. So that live is probably still up if you guys want to like go back and rewatch that. And we have an event every single day except for Thursday. I'm participating in four events. Two of them are by myself and the other two is with everybody which is our kickoff event, our finale event. And I'm just so pumped. I'm also gonna try, fingers crossed, emphasis on the try, and incorporate some life things into this vlog too because I know vlogs can get boring. Um, so I want to make them interesting. Um, so I guess we'll see how that goes. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Day two of Readorama. This is what I'm working on. Yesterday I listened to 43% of this book, which is um, about 160 pages, and I read a couple of chapters of Will Grayson, Will Grayson. Um, my plan is to complete Actorate Each Brown today, and then this one I would like done by Thursday. I took today off work, which is great. Um, so my plan today is kind of mostly listen to actor H. Eve Brown. I want to get that done and I'm going to listen to it while I'm doing other things. Um, I also have a nail appointment today so I won't be able to listen for probably about an hour and a half, two hours, but I will be reading Will Grayson, Will Grayson um, during that time. So we're working on getting caffeinated. <clears throat> I was up until like 11.30 last night listening to Actor Age Eve Brown because um, I did want to get to a certain point because there's not that many chapters in this book. There's about 21 chapters and I made it to chapter 11. I also have some packages coming today which is really exciting so we will have a little unboxing um, in a little bit um, and I'm going to try and take you through life things today. Um, which I didn't do as much yesterday. I'm sorry. Uh, every time I say I'm going to do something in a vlog, I am terrible about it. Um, but I have the whole place to myself today. Will is at work. So it's just going to be a day of Readorama. This is the Readorama account that I've been working on. These are photo submissions for our day one photo challenge. Thank you to everybody who submitted photos. This is our day two photo challenge, which is to do a bookish flat lay. Um, I took this picture. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may recognize um, 
some things that I do in my feed. I have already posted my photo for the day, which is this one. You can kind of see it. Um, and I'm also shouting out Emily Cromwell Designs in my description. If you guys don't know who Emily Cromwell Designs is, I'll leave a link to her shop in the description below. I love her stuff. These are her bookmarks. Um, she's just an awesome uh, independent artist. Definitely recommend checking out her shop. Let me also plug my uh, shop code for that. If you use the code BRUNETTE10, you will get 10% off of your order. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started for the day. I'm gonna start listening to my book. I'm gonna go get dressed. Let's rock and roll. Outfit of the day. I never do this. And I have five hours left in my audiobook. I am home. We have some unboxings to do. We're gonna start with Sip Spy. Um, I do get Sip Spy for free in exchange for an honest review. Um, for those of you who don't know, Sip Spy is a monthly tea subscription service. So you can get a subscription, I think it's six months or a year, and you take a personalized tea quiz, and every month they send you teas based off of that quiz. So when you get your box, this is what it looks like. It has a little card that talks about all the teas, their caffeination level and how to make them. And then you get um, four different teas with enough tea to make 15 cups. All the information regarding Sip Spy is gonna be linked in the description below. It is $15 a month, I believe, and it is free shipping to the United States. Um, the first tea we have is Southern Breeze Pre-Sweetened Cold Brew Black Tea in flavor peach. This sounds great because I did just have a peach tea from a previous box that I really enjoyed and I just finished that one. And I have an organic Ruibos tea. Um, I think I've had this brand before. This flavor is a uh, chocolate orange, which sounds a little interesting. Then I have an energy tea, Superberry Samba. This looks like it'll be something that is fruity. And the last one I have is an instant chai masala. It is unsweetened. I do have a lot of chai tea that I haven't been able to get to yet. So yeah. If you're interested in checking out Sip Spy, the website will be linked in the description below. And now the other two random boxes. This first item is this little green eggs and ham pin. Um, I used to be pre-COVID. I was a universal annual pass holder and they do these monthly pins for pass holders and I haven't been able to go in the past couple of months but I like to keep up with my collection so I do mail trades and such to keep up. Um, I think I'm still one or two pins behind but this is one that I was needing. And the last one, the one I am most excited about, book of the month. So in 2021 I wanted to get a bookish subscription service but I'm really really picky about the books that I get um, which is why I didn't go for like Owl Crate or Fairy Loot something like that because a lot of the books that have recently been um, put out I would not be interested in um, so I figured I it, like it, it wouldn't be worth my money um, but with Book of the Month I can pick what I want this is not sponsored by Book of the Month I just I'm really excited for my box they had some really good picks this month. Two books that I wanted, um, which is great because last month I didn't want any of the books. So I was really excited for the June books to drop. The first book that I'm so pumped about is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is her new book. Originally, I wasn't going to get this book until it came out in paperback because all of my other books by her were in paperback. But then it was on book of the month and I snagged that shit up so fast. This is also my book club's pick for July. So now I have a copy and I don't have to wait in a really long line at the library. Second book, another one that I was gonna wait for it to come out in paperback um, and something that's on my anticipated releases. Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. Um, this is not a book club pick. I just like Nicola Yoon and wanted to pick this one up too. So, I got two books this month because I couldn't just pick one. Um, and I'm so excited that these are here. I'm just, I'm so pumped. All right, it's time for me to eat lunch. I'm really hungry. Oh, if you guys are curious, my nails are lavender. I don't even know if you can see that. I got lavender nails done. So I need to go pick a book to do a book and nails Instagram photo with. 
All right. I'm gonna go now. Hey guys, it is Chloe from the future popping in really quick. Um, I did get another package and this one is actually a really fun one from Quirk Books because all month June, Quirk Books is celebrating Stay Peculiar Month for the 10th anniversary of the Miss Peregrine's release. I read the Miss Peregrine's trilogy a long, long time ago. Quirk Books has kindly sent me the first three in paperback for you guys to have a chance to win. The first book was published on June 7th, 2011 and has become a best-selling six book series. And if you want to win the first three books in the series, then you need to head over to my Twitter, which will be linked in the description below, and I'll have a pinned tweet that you guys can follow instructions for on how to win these three. This mail came after all the stuff that I just unboxed, so I just wanted to share some fun stuff for you guys for the Stay Peculiar Month promotion by Quirk Books. All right, it is getting late, so I'm getting ready for bed, but I just finished Actor Age Eve Brown. I gave it four stars. Um, it's not my favorite in the series. There were some parts that I was a little unsure of, but for the most part, I really enjoyed the relationship, and this one has a lot of... Uh, sexual content in it I feel like more than the other two books but it was still really good so four stars um tomorrow I'm gonna start Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Moss as my next audiobook and then I'm also going to continue working on Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan this is probably my shortest book out of the whole week um but I feel like I'll get it done my plan is to have it done by Thursday. Hello, it is day three of Readorama. Um, I'm going to be honest, it's really late at night. I worked all day. I've been working on a project at work, so I didn't get a bunch of reading done. I am still going to be reading this evening. I did get some reading done, just not a lot. I just finished filming a mood board video for the social media tour of Of Princes and Promises. I'll link that video down in the description below if you want to check it out, but I just finished filming it. So I'm gonna have to start putting that together over the next few days. Uh, two more days of work and then I'm off again. Um, I'm still reading Will Grayson Will Grayson. I'm about halfway through and then I started Catwoman Soul Stealer this morning and I'm about seven chapters in, um, which is like the audiobook equivalent of two and a half hours. Day four, it's very early, it's like 7 a.m. Um, I'm skipping yoga this morning in favor of not doing yoga, I don't know. Um, I wanna see if you guys can hear this real quick. So at our apartment, um, kind of like across from us, there's like a little, I wouldn't call it a body of water, but it's like a little pond. Um, and in the summertime, especially like starting in like June and July, you can hear these like frogs that like scream. I, I don't know any other way to, to say it, but like, can you hear this? I think those are like crickets or frogs or something. And then it also sounds like ducks too. There's just like a lot of wildlife and it does this all night. So I've been listening to this since like seven o'clock last night. And eventually I'll get used to it because I had to get used to it when we moved here because we moved here in July. So I'll have to get used to it and I will eventually, but I haven't heard this all winter. <laughs> and now I have to get used to it again. I need to tell you guys that this is the cold brew peach tea pre-sweetened one from the Sip Spy unboxing earlier. And this is probably the best tea I have ever had from a Sip Spy box. I need to go back and check the brand in the clip because I made all of them, so I threw them away. Um, but this is the best tea I've ever had from a Sip Spy box. So I definitely wanna look more into that tea. Um, it's so good. It's pre-sweetened, which is what I really like. And wow, it is so good. I need more pre-sweetened teas. I have good news and bad news. The bad news is that it is day five and I forgot to record so much stuff yesterday on day four. Um, and the good news is today is my last day of work before I'm off for a few days. So... I'll be able to record some more stuff for the last two days. 
So I didn't get a ton of reading done yesterday. I am about 60% through Will Grayson, Will Grayson. Really hoping to finish it today. Um, and I am 34% of the way through Catwoman, um, which I've been listening to on my commute this morning. Um, and we'll listen to a little bit more after I stop recording. Um, Catwoman, I might finish tomorrow. I'm going to have to really listen to a lot of it. I still have six and a half hours left. Um, and I still have one more book on my TBR, so I guess we'll see if I can get everything done. I just, I don't know. I'm home, finally, and I do not have to work until Monday now, which is such a good feeling. I love it. So, my reading update. Um, I am 67% of the way through Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I have 30 minutes to re read right now, so I'm going to try and get as close to finishing as possible. I want to finish it tonight. It's going to happen. I'm going to make coffee if I have to. It will happen tonight. For Catwoman, I am 50% of the way through, and will probably finish that tomorrow. Hopefully, um, if I remember, I'll bring my headphones in to the grocery store tomorrow, because I do have to go grocery shopping, and um, get that done in as much free time as I can possibly have. I'm, you know, I'm really pumped to get a bunch of reading done this weekend. I know I've been reading all week, but I'm just so excited. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and I'm gonna get to reading. Happy day six of Readorama. Good morning. It is like 10 15. Um, did I finish Will Grayson, Will Grayson last night? No. Um, but I did finish it this morning. I had about 60 pages left this morning and I finished it. Um, I'm gonna give it a three. It kind of like grew on me a little bit towards the end, but other than that it was just, I don't know. So three stars for that. I am still listening to Catwoman. I have four and a half hours left in that audiobook, so I definitely think it's something I can get done today. Um, but also I am going to start Sun Kissed by Casey West. This is the final book on my TBR. It's the only one that I don't have an audiobook for, so I have to, uh, sit and read it. Um, and I have today and tomorrow to get it done, and if I want to finish it, I would have to read 150 pages today and 150 pages tomorrow. So with my experience with Casey West, uh, especially the past couple of books that she's released, I have been able to get through them fairly quickly. They are fast-paced. I remember um, I sat reading one of her books for a couple of hours, and I just read like a huge chunk of it once. Um, so I definitely think it's possible. So we'll see how this goes. But first, before I go, I have to take an Instagram picture for today. Today's Instagram challenge is a book in nature, and you guys are about to meet my plant that lives on my balcony. So let's go out there. This is Ferdinand, my succulent, and we're either gonna take a picture with him or I might hold up my book to these trees. So I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture. All right, here are some final updates for day six. Um, during the Instagram Live that I did, I started Sun Kissed by Casey West, and I got 60 pages into it during that live, and I'm going to go read in bed in just a second. But 
I finally finished Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J. Moss. I'm giving this three and a half stars. I was entertained. Um, is it like the best? Is it my favorite? No, but it was entertaining. It was fine. It was good. Um, so three and a half stars. Hopefully I can finish this by end of day tomorrow. 60 pages during two little sprints was pretty fast paced. So I think I can do it. Um, but for now, I'm going to go read in bed and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, you're not using it. Hi, recording? Yeah. Why? Cause it's day seven. It's the last day of Readorama. Well, we're not reading. I know. We're going to your mom's house. Genius. I know. I have. I'm gonna try and read um, like 200 pages today, and it's already 12:30. It's 12:30. We're supposed to be at your mom's now. Let's go. It is 10:30 at night on day seven. I'm on page. 206 of Sunkissed, which is about 67% of the way through the book. I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. I'm going to see how much farther I can go, but I don't think I'm going to make it. It is the next day. I actually got really close to finishing Sunkissed last night. I had 20 pages left, and I just could not keep my eyes open. Um, so I just finished it this morning. It was great. It was five stars. It's Casey West book. It's just a light fluffy romance. I think I have discovered my new thing that I like, which is like summer camp romances. So maybe I should find more of those. Um, I'm going to do like an official like wrap up of the whole week in a little bit when I'm more awake. Um, so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hello everyone. It is actually June 13th, Readorama ended yesterday, um, but I just wanted to come on here and do a little wrap up for you guys. Um, the first book I read was Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This went for three challenges. I gave this four stars. I did listen to the audiobook. I really enjoyed it. There were some elements that I didn't enjoy as much as the other two books, but there is a lot of sexual content in this book. So just know that going into this book. Um, but I'm really happy with how this little trilogy ended. I really enjoyed the Brown Sisters trilogy and um, if you have been thinking about picking it up, definitely pick up the series. Next I read Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. This was fine for the most part. Um, I enjoyed one Will Grayson over the other Will Grayson um, and the story didn't go really in any direction that I expected it to. Um, so I gave this one three stars. Next I read Catwoman Soul Stealer by Sarah J Maas. I listened to the audiobook for this as well and I was pleasantly surprised with how this book went considering um, the person I know who has read this didn't enjoy it. So um, I was happy that I for the most part enjoyed it. I believe I gave it three and a half stars. Um, it's nothing like explosively amazing that is like one of my new favorites of all time but it was good um so i gave it three and a half stars and then the last one i read was sun kissed by casey west her new release that came out last month i gave this five stars casey west is just she writes fluffy ya contemporaries that i love and i think i found a new genre that i like which is like summer camp love stories i know that's really niche but if you have any recommendations for summer camp love stories, let me know in the comments below because I think that might be a new thing that I'm interested in. So these are the four books that I completed during Ritorama week. I managed to get my whole TBR done. I'm really proud of myself even though the week, while it was also, it was both busy and laid back if that can be a thing. So that is all I have for this vlog today. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every week. So click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Leave an emoji in the comments below so that I know that you watched this video. Check out my Patreon linked in the description below. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. In the darkness, I don't feel so cold.